Well, I mean, I think that we'll have to see how things play out in the coming days. If there's a smooth process where you have a caretaker government that comes in and elections do take place within the 90 days that they're supposed to, that would reduce the chances of political instability and, and unrest and protest. But indeed, if there's uncertainty, if, if the courts get involved and say that what Imran Khan did was not right, if there's any level of, uh, of uncertainty about the future, that's what could lead to people to taking to the streets. And that's where you'd have to worry about uh, instability. China certainly has worried about the security of its own investments in Pakistan, but for different reasons, mainly because of terrorism. Um, but I don't think that China would be impacted um, by the developments over the next few months. China certainly had, I think, preferred to work with the previous government over the government of Imran Khan because of Imran Khan's focus on anti-corruption and transparency. Chinese investments in Pakistan had been, had been very opaque. But at the end of the day, China's investments will not be impacted, continues to be a key investor in Pakistan. Whatever government comes next in Pakistan will want to continue to get those investments from China. Michael, let's take a step back, if we could. What is the basis of this perceived leaning by Imran Khan uh, towards Russia and Putin? Well, you know, it's interesting that for many years, Pakistan and Russia didn't really have much of a relationship. Only over the last few years, only over the last few months, really, uh, has Pakistan sought to deepen its relationship with Russia. And Imran Khan uh, had a pre-scheduled visit to Moscow, which happened to be at the very day when the Russians were invading uh, Ukraine. So the optics of Imran Khan being there with Putin at that time were very poor. But that trip had been planned uh, for quite a number of months. And I would argue that uh, you know, there are many countries that have much closer relations with Russia that worry the U.S. and the West a lot more, such as India, which, of course, has a longstanding relationship with Russia. With Pakistan, only in the last few years, particularly with Russia's interest in Pakistan's natural gas sector, that's when the two have started to come together more, started to engage and explore cooperation. But we should not overstate the depth of the Pakistan-Russia relationship at this point. The issue is that is that Khan happened to be in Moscow when Putin was invading Ukraine. That was the problem. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.